Springtime in your Geauga Park District offers blooming wildflowers, all kinds of activities, and plenty of clean, fresh air. Time exploring outdoors is always time well spent. Spring fun begins at geaugaparkdistrict.org. Resco's president in the courtroom today, and he is represented by attorney Christina Subler. Um, Mr. James Place, the Jerry County prosecutor, is here on behalf of the state of Ohio. Um, Mr. Place, will you introduce the case for us, please? Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, the defendant, Mr. Gresco, was indicted by the Jug County Grand Jury in an indictment that was filed on June 23rd of this year. It's a two-count indictment, count one being tampering with records, a felony of the third degree, and count two being unauthorized use of computer, cable, or telecommunications property, a felony of the fifth degree. That's my understanding we are here for initial appearance and arraignment. Thank you. Well, Mr. Gresco, I do want to go over the maximum possible penalties with you. Uh, count one, tampering with the evidence, is a third degree felony. If convicted, that could carry with it a possible prison sentence of nine to 36 months and a maximum possible fine of $10,000. Count two, unauthorized use of cable or of computer, cable or telecommunications property is a fifth degree felony. If convicted, that could carry with it a possible prison sentence of six to a maximum of 12 months and a maximum possible fine of $2,500. Do you understand those maximum penalties? Yes, sure. I also have a waiver and request to enter plea uh, and Mr. Gresco, it appears uh, that this has your signature on it. This document indicates that you understand that you cannot be called upon to enter a plea at your initial appearance, uh, but that you are waiving the right to a separate arraignment and asking the court to enter a not guilty plea. Do you remember going over this document? Yes, sure. Is this your signature? Can you see that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, all right. And that is your intention to enter a plea of not guilty today? Yes, sir. Or ma'am. Sorry. Sorry. Um, then the court will accept your plea of not guilty, and we're going to assign a judge to your case. Judge Carolyn J. Paschke. Okay. Your case was assigned to me, which means your future hearings will be here in this courtroom. Okay. And are you working? Not currently. Uh, just briefly, Your Honor, as the court's aware, Mr. Gresco has no prior criminal history. He has been engaged in the community for several years now. Uh, he's been gainfully employed, though he's currently on leave in connection with what has brought us to court here today. And I do respectfully ask the court to order a personal bond. All right, thank you. I'm sorry, Your Honor, one thing I omitted. Um, the only uh, special condition of bond that the state requests, and I did talk to Ms. Ms. Supor about this, um, is that the defendant be um, have no contact with any cardinal school property? It's my understanding through um, employment action, he's already been notified that he can't be on school property, but uh, the state would like it as a condition of bond. Just the property? Just the property. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, then, based on what has been presented here today, Mr. Gresco, I will um, I will set a PR bond. Judge, may I add one thing? Yes. Um, just one small detail, there is potentially a meeting with his employer this afternoon or this evening that Mr. Gresco might be required to attend with counsel. Um, it's unclear whether that's gonna take place at all, whether it will be virtual or perhaps on school premises. So if indeed the meeting goes forward later this afternoon with counsel for the district and Mr. Gresco is required to attend in person, I'd ask for, I guess, a. a permission from the court for him to be on school property for the limited purposes of that meeting. Okay. Mr. Place. Your Honor, I did speak to the superintendent this morning. There is a school board meeting this evening. I'm not sure where it's taking place. Um, I believe Mr. Gresco's employment uh, status is going to be a topic at the school board meeting. And the state would have no objection. I mean, certainly he'd have the right to appear at that meeting. Uh, so the state would have no objection to carving out an exception to the bond conditions uh, for the meeting this evening. And can I, uh, would the state object if it said no contact with any cardinal school property without the presence of counsel? Um, no, that's fine. That would allow any any future, if there's a future meeting where he needs to be present with his counsel, can you that? Is that no objection. Thank you, Your Honor. Is that subject to you as well? Yes, thank you, Judge. All right, you're welcome. All right, then, uh, as I said before, we will set a PR bond. Uh, Mr. Gresco, I'm going to give you uh, some of our standard conditions of probation. Um, I am going to order that you obey the laws of the state of Ohio and not leave the state of Ohio without permission from the court or the court's probation department. Um, 
and also then I am going to order that you have no contact with Cardinal School property without your council present. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. All right. The Nears office, we work together like a team. Every role down here, a person has the opportunity to lead in their own position. No matter what your title is, we are all an important part of the process. Everybody's trying to help one another and it's just a, a great camaraderie among the team members.